everyone and welcome back to another exciting Maker Monday activity. For today's activity, we are going to make a super slimy substance called Ooblek. Now this activity is taken directly from this fantastic library book, 30 Minute Chemistry Projects, although this activity takes a little bit less than 30 minutes. So let's have a look at the materials that we will need to make our super slimy Ooblek. Okay, so to make oobleck, you need a mixing bowl, a measuring cup, a spoon, some corn flour, and some water. Now, I've put a couple of drops of food colouring into my water just so it's easier for you to see our mixture on the screen. If you do want to use uh, food colouring, you can add it to the water to start with, and then perhaps pop some gloves on your hands because we are going to use our hands to uh, touch the mixture. So some gloves will help prevent the food colouring from staining your hands. So the ratio of our ingredients is two parts corn flour to one part water. So I have a cup of corn flour here that I'm going to pop into my mixing bowl. And then we'll add half a cup of water. Once you've added your half cup of water, grab your spoon and we're going to start mixing those two ingredients together. Now you will find when you're mixing that the mixture is slightly resisting the spoon. And what I mean by that is that it's quite tricky to stir these ingredients through. So what I'm making sure that I'm doing is just scraping all that corn flour off the bottom of the bowl so that it's mixing in with the water. It's kind of like trying to stir through, through sludgy mud. So you actually see that it's a really interesting texture. I can lift it out and get some lots of clumps of mixture that really quickly fall away from the spoon. So keep going until all that mixture, the corn flour, is mixed in with the water. All right, now we're going to go in with our hands so we can have a feel of the mixture. Now you'll notice if I pick it up, I can pick it up because it's kind of solid and I can mould it through my hands so I can mould it into a ball just like this or a sort of a sludgy squishy ball and then the minute I stop playing with the mixture with my hands can you see what happens it's gone back to a really gooey oozy liquid so let's see if we can pick it up again I'm gonna get my hands right in there it's actually really strange I can mold it and maneuver it and pick it up and make it into a shape like this and then as soon as I stop applying that pressure it goes back to a liquid oozy gooey mess so we can have lots of fun shaping our oobleck slime so what is our oobleck what is happening it's such a strange substance that it seems to go from a solid to a liquid in just a matter of seconds. So I need to find out just what is happening with our oobleck. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll have a little look at our 30 minute chemistry book and see if we can find some answers. Okay, so to find out the science behind our mysterious oobleck, which was kind of behaving like a solid and a liquid, I'm going to go straight to my trusty library book, which is a credible source of accurate information so that we can find out just what was happening. So if we open it up to the experiment page, there's a little science takeaway down the bottom here. So let's have a read. So in solids, molecules are tightly packed together to hold a shape. In liquids, molecules can move over and around one another. Most liquids are runny and move out of the way when you press on them. Oobleck does not act like most liquids, as we know, because it was going from solid to liquid, wasn't it? Our oobleck is a non-Newtonian liquid, which becomes solid when you press on it or apply some force. So non-Newtonian is a new word that we've learned. And actually in this great book, we can go right to the back to the glossary, which is kind of like a dictionary. So if there's any terms that we don't understand, we can have a look at the back in the glossary and I can see non-Newtonian liquid is a liquid that temporarily acts like a solid when you put it under pressure such as by squeezing it just like we did with our oobleck. 
So 30 minute chemistry projects and other fantastic science experiment books are available now at your library. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time. See you then.